That takes some trust, though. That's number two. When we tithe, we demonstrate that we trust God, even concerning our money, with a caveat, assuming we're making wise choices. Matthew 6, 24, this is Jesus talking about money. He said to his disciples, you cannot serve both God and money. This is why I tell you, don't be worried about the food and drink you need in order to stay alive. Don't worry about the clothes for your body. After all, isn't life more than food? And isn't the body worth more than clothes? Look at the birds. They don't plant seeds, they don't gather a harvest, and they don't put it into barns. Yet your Father in heaven takes care of them. Aren't you worth much more than birds? You see what he's saying? God takes care of the birds. You think he's not going to take care of you? That's what Jesus is saying to his disciples. God takes care of birds. What are you fretting over? And the birds, they don't have land. They don't have jobs. They don't store it up even for the, for the winter. So Jesus is telling his disciples, if God loves the birds, don't you think he loves you too? Then in verse 27, he says, can any of you live a bit longer by worrying about it? I've learned you can live a bit shorter by worrying about it. I'm trying to get over my stress. I'm a worry wart. I've come a long way in the last few years. I've got a long way to go, though. Stress. Ugh. I think, you know, if I stopped worrying today, I'd probably drop dead of a heart attack. My body's probably addicted to adrenaline. <laughs> I'm trying, though. <laughs> Can any of you live a bit longer by worrying about it? And why worry about clothes? Look how the wildflowers grow. They don't work or make clothes for themselves. They don't go to Walmart. But I tell you that not even King Solomon, with all his wealth, had clothes as beautiful as one of these flowers. Wow. It's God who clothes the wild grass. Grass that's here today and gone tomorrow, burned up in the oven. Won't he be all the more sure to clothe you, O ye of little faith? That's me, me of little faith. So don't start worrying. Where will my food come from? Where will my drink come from or my clothes? These are the things pagans are always concerned about. Your Father in heaven knows that you need these things. Instead, be concerned about everything else concerning the kingdom of God and with his righteousness. And he will provide you with all these other things too. So don't worry about tomorrow. It will have enough worries of its own. There's no need to add to the troubles each day brings. See, we're not unique. The disciples were the same way. They were fretting. Oh, where's my money going to come from? Uh, how am I going to get clothes? How am I going to eat if I don't do this? I don't do that. Jesus said, stand back a minute. What do you think of that bird over there? It's a pretty bird, isn't it? It's pretty fat too, isn't it? It doesn't have a job. Who feeds that bird? My father feeds that bird. Come here, guys. I want to show you something. See the patch of flowers? Yeah. Now compare that with your robe, which is prettier. Who clothed the flowers? God, who clothed you? <laughs> when we make smart choices concerning our money, we store some up, we make wise choices, we avoid greed, we remember what's important, and we tithe. And when we tithe, we demonstrate that we trust God, even with our finances. Number three, when we tithe, we honor God with that which we value the most. People value money above almost anything. You know, I guess our children would come in first, most of us. <laughs> I wish I was saying that tongue-in-cheek, but I'm not. Most of us value our children more, but not all of us. So when I say when, when we tithe, we honor God with that which we value the most. I'm really talking about that which we value the most. Proverbs 3.9 says this, Honor the Lord by giving him your money and the first part of all your crops. So we go with the first part when my family and I do it. Honor the Lord by giving him your money. See, tithing is a real, tangible, physical, hands-on way of showing God that we really trust him, that we really respect him, that we honor him. We're taking something that we rely upon, something we like, something we trust, and we're giving it away, which is a hard thing for any of us to do. Number four, when we tithe, we let go of this world and we cling to the next. Money is important to all of us. We need it, and we like it. But it's got nothing to do with heaven. It's got everything to do with this world. So when we give some of that up, 
we become otherworldly focused. You see what I'm saying? We're investing in God's kingdom rather than in our own. When we tithe, we let go of this world and cling to the next. Matthew 6, 19 through 21 says this. Do not store up riches for yourselves here on earth, where moths and rust destroy and robbers break in and steal. Instead, store up riches for yourselves in heaven, where moths and rust cannot destroy and robbers cannot break in and steal. For your heart will always be where your riches are.